Hey guys, Nick here from Nick's Taxes, and today I have more uh, Canada Emergency Benefit updates. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the Canada Emergency Wage Subsidy, the CEWS, or the SUS, or the COOS, whatever you want to call it. There's been a new proposal um, for the Canada Emergency Wage Benefit to continue until June 2021. But first, before we get into it, hi, my name is Nick from Nick's Taxes. Uh, I make videos on Canada recovery benefits, personal financing, investing, uh, and all that kind of stuff. So if that's of interest to you, I suggest that you hit that subscribe button. Um, and I'm going to be creating these videos, um, these updates on a regular basis. So uh, definitely subscribe to be up to date on all things Canada recovery benefits. Also, at any time, if you get value to this video, uh, please hit that thumbs up button. Uh, but let's get right into it. So the Canada Emergency Wage Benefit, um, they're looking at uh, extending this benefit up until June 2021, uh, including possible changes to the rates and top-up calculation. So this proposal happened back on October 14th, uh, but I haven't heard any uh, updates or anything since, so I thought it'd be time to actually make this video. Um, but for now, applications are open um, and the new application for period eight, which is from September 27th, 2020 to October 24th, 2020 uh, is open. What is the Canada Emergency Wage Subsidy? Uh, as a Canadian employer, if you've seen a drop in revenue due to COVID-19, uh, you may be eligible for a subsidy to cover part of your employees wages and that can be retroactive to March 15th 2020 uh, Canada hopes that the subsidy will be able to let you uh, rehire workers or prevent further job loss and ease you back into normal operations there are gonna be some potential changes to be made but uh, as of claim period 5 which was July 5th and going until now, uh, November 21st, 2020, that's periods five to nine. Here are the changes that we do have. Um, the subsidy rate will vary depending on how much your revenue dropped. If your revenue drop was less than 30%, uh, you can still qualify and keep getting the subsidy as employees return to work and your revenue recovers. Employers who were hardest hit can qualify for a higher amount employees who were paid for 14 days or more can now be included in your calculation for the wage subsidy and you can use the current current periods revenue drop or the previous periods whatever is more beneficial for your business so in order to apply for the wage subsidy you have to meet all three of the following criteria number one is you have uh, a CRA payroll account that you've had since at least March 15th, 2020. There are a couple different situations uh, that might be exceptional, but that's going to be uh, the general rule. Number two is you have to be one of the following types of employers, either individuals, corporations, or trusts that are not exempt from income tax. Or if you were some, someone that was exempt from income tax, you have to fit in one of the following categories, either a nonprofit organization, agricultural organization, boards of trade, chambers of commerce, nonprofit corporations for scientific research and exper experimental development, labor organizations or societies, or benevolent or fraternal benefit society or orders. You can also be a registered charity, partnerships or a prescribed organization and there's a bunch of different ones uh, including private schools or private colleges or registered Canadian amateur athletic associations and I'll put up the list here for you guys to see one thing to note public institutions are not eligible for the subsidy and that includes your mun municipalities local governments crown corporations public universities colleges hospitals and thirdly is you have experienced a drop in revenue. So your drop in revenue is calculated by comparing your eligible revenue during the crisis with your eligible revenue from a previous period, which is going to be your baseline revenue. So like I said, claim periods five to nine are going to have uh, some different rules that were adjusted. So 
you can apply for the earlier periods, uh, but you'll have to look at what those different eligibility requirements are. Um, but eligible revenue generally includes revenue earned in Canada from selling goods, rendering services, and or uh, others use of your resources. So generally you should use your normal accounting method when calculating your eligible revenue. Um, if your normal accounting method is the accrual method, you can elect to use the cath cash method or vice versa, but once you choose one, you must use the same accounting method for all your claims. So you can't go back and forth to benefit your, your claim. So there are three ways in which you can apply for the Canada Emergency Wage, wage Substitute. The first option, probably the best option, is to do it online through your My Business account. Uh, you can also go online to register for a My Business account if you haven't done so already. Option two is business representatives may apply using rep a client. Um, so that would be getting someone to do that for you. Um, and just so you know, only representatives authorized at a level two or three will be able to apply for you. Or option three is uh, using web forms application uh, using your web access code. And all are available. They're linked on the Canada Emergency Wage Subsidy uh, webpage for you to check out. Um, and if you have any other questions, I suggest that you check out this page first uh, and then come back to see if you have uh, any further questions. But yeah, uh, the CRA website has a great, uh, great website here and a FAQ page as well. Uh, so if you have any questions, they could answer them there. Uh, you're also able to call the Canada Emergency Wage, Wage Subsidy General Inquiries line if you're calling for information about eligibility requirements, uh, calculating the wage subsidy, or how to apply. And uh, the telephone number is 1-833-966-2099, and that's available from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. local time. Also, they're going to be closed on public holidays. But yeah, the, webs the number again is 1-833-966-2099. Okay, so that is everything you need to know about the Canada Emergency Wage Subsidy. Uh, we will keep you updated regarding uh, what's going on after uh, the changes were proposed on October 14th, um, but hopefully we hear back soon. It's been a while, uh, but yeah, if you got value out of this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think, uh, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.